everybody. Um, this isn't really a review or anything. This is more of a um, how-to video, basically. And today I'm going to show you how you can replace um, the little light year yellow logo abo above um, Buzz's wing opening mechanism button. It's very easy. Um, I think you only need to spend like 20 or so bucks on it. You can do it whenever you want. Um, so the only thing you really need for this like to buy is a Dymo Letratag label maker. Um, I know, I think they make a different version of it. It's bigger. This is the one I own, and I believe they now produce these in blue. I bought this a couple of years ago. Um, you're also going to need a pair of scissors, a highlighter, and a Buzz Lightyear that um, is missing it. Now, I don't have any that are missing it. This is just a really just a example model or whatever um see so yeah, let's get into it so i literally just got finished with recording it um and i realized that i messed up completely on the size for the logo so i'm going back and redoing it so basically what you're going to want to do is um take your your thing i don't know i'm going to go through this um, with the idea that you have no idea how to use a Dymo Letra Tag label maker thing. Um, so first off, you're going to want to make sure you have a white paper cartridge. Um, these I've found to stick the best on the actual buzz itself. Um, I believe they come prepackaged within the, um, when you buy it first thing. This is the cassette tape that it comes with or whatever. Um, but if you need to replace it, I believe they sell it at like Target and Walmart and Staples or whatever. See, so pop this in here. Shut the lid, and then um, what you're gonna want to do is, of course, press on. And so now, what you're gonna want to do first is go into Format, which is this button here. Go to size, hit OK, and then move down to small, and then press OK, and now it'll print in a small font format. Press format again, select style this time, press OK, and we're going to want to go down to italic and press OK. And so now this will kind of mimic the font format of the Lightyear tag. Then you're going to want to just take this um, button here, push it in, and that will actually cut it. And now you can see you have a light year label. So then, from there you can turn the thing off. You're going to want to take this logo, take a highlighter of your choice, or it can be a marker. Um, I found markers actually have the more accurate color. However, they can create worse splotches whenever you want to, like, dub go in there double. Um, just doesn't look as nice occasionally. And we'll pop that off. And just highlight over top of it. Doesn't have to be perfect, since you're going to cut most of it off. Just make sure to highlight or marker color in a lot of the surrounding area. That way, in case you make... A high a bigger cut it won't look as bad okay so that's pretty good so now what you're gonna want to do is take your labeled label um, take your scissors and begin cutting it so for the first one at least I want to make sure that it's very broad and open. That way, if you need to make changes, you can. And 
Okay, so as you go on, you can cut this or whatever um, to make sure it fits your buzz. And finally, we have to actually place the Lightyear logo on buzz. So, I guess name tag or whatever, I don't know. Um, so what you're going to want to do to make this sticky is just take your label here and fold it backwards like so. And then peel back these little strips from it, which is quite a pain. Sometimes it doesn't want to go there. Um, so then, if you have it cut correctly, which I of course don't because this is, I already have the label on it correctly, and I just kind of cut it though, just to give an example. Okay, so maybe I did end up cutting it. So what you're going to want to do with your sticky little label now is take it over and just press down on it. And slowly insert it into where it's supposed to be. Now I'm not going to do it the whole way, but once you're done with that, you press down firmly on it, which is the surefire way of getting it to work correctly and now for actual reference because this one does not have it the only one the only buzz that I've ever had that had that um, kind of missing label issue is actually the original 1995 buzz or not the original 1995 buzz so the it's like a different variant but you can see his label is actually, you can kind of tell, um, it's the label maker label. Um, it's pretty obvious up close, but, apologize for my fingers there, when placing it backwards, you really can't tell the difference. Um, it isn't as noticeable. So yeah, that is how you can replace your label, your Buzz Lightyear name tag label thing for this. Um, I know this is kind of a very convoluted um, video to make, and you could have just, you know, gone through it or whatever. I just find this works the best, and um, it looks the nicest. So, if you like the review, like and subscribe or whatever, and I'll see you later. It's not a review, I'm stupid. Freaking.